So you see what grandma's doing here? This is called math. No, you're using Alexa. Yeah, but I'm doing math with Alexa. <laughs> no, she's just telling you to answer. <laughs> also another way to do math. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome. I'm Natalie. My channel is Scientology Life After a Cult because I'm figuring out my life after a cult and my life after a loss. And helping me today, <laughs> you look very excited. Are you excited? Yes. This is my grandson, Oliver, my oldest grandchild, the first person in our family in four generations to never be in Scientology. So he will not be experiencing any type of life in a cult. Yay. Today, Oliver and I are going to try baking bread because this grandma here doesn't really do anything from scratch. We're gonna learn to do it with some box bread. But my other grandma cooks a lot and she bakes the best cookies. Yes, Oliver's other grandma, as he likes to remind me of almost constantly, does bake and do a good job cooking. <laughs> Oh, my taste okay. buds are in heaven when I taste her cookies. I bet they are. You should bring some of your other grandma's cookies over here. You're you like told me. holding out. Yeah. Why? Well, I've not seen any cookies, though. So. Okay, let's just start making bread. It's, <laughs> we're talking about cookies. Why are we talking about cookies? We should be talking about bread. Well, because I feel like you talk up your other grandma's cookies a lot, yet you've not brought any to share with me. I just, I'm just saying that's an issue that I think that, you know, you might want to bring some cookies over next time. That's you all. You ask me. Today, we are going to be making some almond flour baking mix artisan bread. Wait, let me say that. Yep, that's almond, all right. That's right. So it is, is this, it's gluten-free, only purposeful ingredient. So I'm thinking because it's in a box, this can be easy and we can do this. So why don't you tell me what we need and I'll grab it. I know we need a bowl. We need eggs. How, how many eggs do we need? I have no idea. Should stay on there. Uh, two eggs. Two eggs. Water, two um, TBSP. Tablespoons? Yeah, but I think so. Okay, so two eggs. Olive oil, and um, we need four TBSPs. Oh, TBSP is tablespoons. So. Tablespoons, four for the oil, um, olive oil. oil. All right. And then, then we'll need apple cider vinegar, and we will need two table. Spoon cup stingy majiggies of that. Look what I have. I have actual measuring stuff. I was making, what was I making last time? I was trying to make cookies. Cool, 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 cool. And I didn't have any measuring stuff. And I found them. And do you know where they were, you guys? You don't remember? I couldn't find any of this stuff. It was in the dishwasher. Yeah, the dishwasher. I didn't even check there. Dishwasher. The dishwasher. The dishwasher. Okay, so you said we need two eggs, stuff to measure, water, and oil. Olive oil. To Olive exact. oil. We needed uh, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Let's see. Let's wait yeah. while Grandma does that. Dance moves! Okay. Apple cider vinegar. We were having a dance party. Okay, are your hands clean? Have they been anywhere near your nose or butt? No. Since you washed them? <laughs> no. Okay. So I they're... did eat a little snack. Yeah, but you washed your hands before that. We have washed hands. I have washed hands. You have washed hands. Okay, good. <laughs> We're gonna just do one step at a time. Heat the oven to 350. I, I will do that. Good, because I'm a kid and I'm only seven years old. <laughs> okay, bake, bake to what? What does it say? Uh, at the top. 350 yeah, Fahrenheit. Oven. Heat oven to 350. So 350, bake, start. Okay. Dance party! Back to bread. Okay, so we have to, what does step one say? Whisk eggs, water, and oil in a large bowl. I like whisking. You like whisking? I know where the whisk is. Eggs, let's start with the eggs. So we got two eggs. Wait, where's the comments? The comments? Oh, this is not a live stream. 
we're pre-taping this and then I'm gonna edit it and then it will be a video on YouTube and then people will comment. So you're gonna delete this part just now that I just asked this question. Not necessarily. <laughs> I try not to edit that much because it's like a lot of extra work and you know, I'm not like trying to do all that. <laughs> okay, so here's the whisker. Hold okay. on to that. Mm. I shall put in the two eggs. You now whisk the eggs. Are you whisking? Like this? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think whisking around is just like mixing around, but they make it sound fancier. Okay, so we're, I would keep whisking. So then it says water and oil. So water was this tablespoon thing. We need two tablespoons of water. You got quite the dance moves going on today. Two tablespoons of water. Oh, hold on. I'm balancing from the sink. One. All right. I'm better at balancing. I went to gymnastics, actually, if you guys don't know. You went to gymnastics? That's yeah. cool. And I went to soccer practice. That's right. You're good at soccer. Whisk, whisk. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Okay, two tablespoons of water, four tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of vinegar. Have you made bread before, Ollie? No. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Tony used to make this all the time. We have zero experience. Yeah, we do have kind of zero experience, but I'm grandma's trying to do new things so I can learn new things. I'm trying new things I've not done before. Yeah, that's because how, that's fun. That is, that's how we learn, right? Yeah, and I'm in second grade. I don't know why I just mentioned that. <laughs> cool fun fact. Now let's put in the apple cider vinegar. Mm, I love this smell. What do you think? I don't like it. I love the smell of vinegar. I don't like it for some. I like, like it. Smells like vinegar. When grandma was growing up in the cult, there's this thing called CalMag that we used to drink that they made that had vinegar in it and stuff vinegar and calcium and magnesium, but I didn't hate it. <laughs> I like that smell. Okay, vinegar, two tablespoons. So I think, okay, one, two, all right. Whisk. You whisk away. And then we need four tablespoons of oil. 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 Like the Wizard of Oz? Oi, 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 oi. Did you see the Wizard of Oz with the Tin Man? No. You have not seen the Wizard of Oz? No. Kelsey, you were slacking as a parent. Oliver's not seen the Wizard of Oz. You hey. must remedy that. You must hey, see I've the seen Wizard the book. of Oz. The book? I've seen the book. Okay, so the Tin Man gets all stiff and then he's stuck like this. And then when Dorothy comes up, he's like, oil. Because he Who's needs Dory? oil from his oil can. Who's Dory? Dorothy. Uh, She's the chick who's like trying I, to find her way home the whole time. I didn't actually read the book. Well, we should watch the movie sometimes. No. <laughs> no. All right, four tablespoons of oil. I don't think we have enough in here. We might have to open a new no. one. Okay, let's count. In there. That looks like avocado. It looks like avocado oil. Exactly. It, it's charmed, um, like the shape, like uh, this circular uh, oval shape. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Oh, like an avocado. Okay. I want someone to make like a me, um, a song about me, a video about me, except a different one, and a song, where, and then the video goes like. <laughs> You have lots of demands for the people. I don't have commands. I'm not commanding no, them. No, demands. To. You're not demanding, you're asking. Ah, oh, dang it! No. It's two. What? We did the wrong one. This is for flatbread. We're making a loaf. Okay, so we need. Ah, oh, dang it! Now we gotta do math. Ah! Oh. I do third grade math. Okay, so maybe. So, see, here's the problem. Are you gonna edit, edit this whole part out? 
Probably not. <laughs> we learn from our mistakes, so we celebrate the mistakes. <laughs> okay, so if we were making flatbread, this is what we needed. But we're not making flatbread or dinner rolls. We wanted to make a loaf. So now we've got two tablespoons of extra oil that we don't need in there. And we need more water and another egg if we're making bread. Oh, okay. We need a quarter. We, we're going to try to salvage this. <laughs> oh, oh, this stuff's not hey. cheap. Okay, so we need a quarter cup of water, but we did two tablespoons of water. So how much more water do we need? If we did two tablespoons of water, we need a quarter cup. Alexa, how many tablespoons of water is in a quarter cup of water? One quarter cup of water is four tablespoons. Okay. So you see what grandma's doing here? This is called math. No, you're using Alexa. Yeah, but I'm doing math with Alexa. <laughs> no, she's just telling you to answer. <laughs> also another way to do math. <laughs> so if we, if, if a quarter Alexa cup. Alexa to <laughs> instantly tell you to answer. <laughs> so quarter cup of water means four tablespoons. We've already put in two tablespoons of water. So how many tablespoons of water do we have left? Two. Correct. All right, two more tablespoons of water. Okay. Get ready. Thanks, Bada. Balancing, balancing, one. Two. Okay, and then we have to do one more egg because for a loaf, it's three eggs. But you see this? This is for flatbread. This is for dinner rolls. This is for loaf. So we should have been paying attention to that. We shouldn't have been paying attention. What do you mean we? <laughs> we? You're here with me. You know how to read. Yeah, but you never told me we were making loaves. <laughs> true, true, true. Okay, one more egg. Do the dab. Okay, whisk. Dab later. Whisk now. Is this technically later? <laughs> <laughs> what is, why do kids do that? What is that? It's the, called the dab. The dab, what does it mean? I have no idea. It's like banging yourself in the head with your Ex arm. Except you're not. Exactly. What does it mean when you're doing it? Like, what are you saying with it? Like, if you go like this, that means hi, hello. What does it mean to go like that? When do kids do it? If I wanted to dab, when should I dab? When you outsmart someone and be a nerd. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when I do it. Yeah. Like when I was, when I was telling you Alexa did the math for you instead of you. You dab, so it's like dropping the mic, kind of. Yep. Okay. We've got what we need in there, but we have two extra tablespoons of olive oil because we put the wrong amount. So. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna live with it, okay? Oh, okay. We're just gonna, it'll work. Add baking mix and combine well. This feels like a key part of this right now, so get ready with your whisk. Plus, I really like cookies. I like cookies too. And we'd be having some really good cookies right now if you brought some from your other grandma's house. Yeah! <laughs> Boom! Dab. Right. You never told me You've never told me to bring any since this tier day. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, so this is the bread mix. So we're supposed to mix and combine well. Mm. Yes, get to mixing. That's a mountain. Except it is that's a mountain. That's Mount Everest, except tinier. Okay, mix. Whisk. <gasps> mix! <laughs> okay, now it, now it doesn't even have any, okay. Yeah, so you keep you keep whisking, and then we have to put it into a grease loaf pan. Loaf pan. Loaf pan. I feel like we had a loaf pan at some point. Huh? It's a, a loaf pan, a pan to make the bread in. We had a uh, one for um, like a cast iron. Kels, do you remember where it is? It's, aha! <laughs> All right, 
I have the loaf pan. Just need to clean it. Clean! Let's see where you're at. Ooh, you're a good whisker. Good I, job, Oliver. I said I was, so I am. <laughs> I'm glad that you're so confident. Okay, whisk, add, okay, we did that. Oh, I guess we were supposed to add the vinegar after, but that's fine. Boon dough into greased loaf pan. Okay, so here's the loaf pan. So now we have to grease the loaf pan. How's the whisking? I'm done with the whisking. You're done with the whisking? I'm showing them my school picture. By the way, guys, how do you like my school, pi my school picture? It's lovely. That's your second grade picture? Yes, sir. Ugh. Yes, sir. We're getting to a big part, Ollie. Okay. So I just poured grease in it and then I'm just using a napkin to get the sides. I'm assuming that's what it means by greasing a pan. Uh, right? Uh, It'll work. Plus we have all that extra olive oil in there. <laughs> Oh, I hope it comes out even though we put too much olive oil. What do you think? That's your fault. <laughs> I farted. Excuse me. <laughs> Please do not fart near the bread. <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. Uh, okay. And it was an emergency. It was an emergency? Well, I can't argue with a fart emergency. Fart. A natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Spoon dough into grease loaf pan. Bake one hour or until edges of loaf start to pull away from the pan. Huh? Okay, so we have to spoon it into this. I'll get a spoon. Do you think this is all whisked and stirred enough? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be really awesome bread? Yeah. <laughs> you are distracted by the camera. We're professionals, Oliver. You're supposed to act like it's not there. But it is there. <laughs> Good point. Okay, so I'm putting it all in here. We're putting, we're spooning it into a greased pan. I used olive oil. I mean, that's what's in it. Along with too much. Okay, take a look. What do you think? That's not bread. Well, not yet. This is bread dough. Uh, yeah. I thought there was only cookie dough. Uh, there's cookie dough, which makes cookies, but then bread dough makes bread. So here we have our bread dough, bread dough. in our loaf pan. Loaf pan. <sighs> Bake for an hour. <gasps> Bake for an hour. I think it's. I think this stove's done preheating. Does it beep? Did it beep? It beeped? Okay. Well, it says 350. Okay, I'm going to put this in the stove for an hour. Wait, so you're telling me you're editing out this part? Okay, hold on. Let's see. 60. There we go. Well, be right back. I think it's going. Well, be right back. It's not flashing though. Is the number supposed to, f no, it's uh, on, it's fine. We had this problem last time. I said, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're gonna let that cook for an hour, right? Maybe in the meantime, being that, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. We and get, Christmas. And Christmas, and we have company coming, so we should probably clean like the guest bathroom. <laughs> Do all the good things. Okay, the you go do that, I'll keep them company. <laughs> <laughs> While it's cooking? Let's dance! All right, well, we're gonna take a break while that is baking and we will be back in just a moment. Okay, I think the oven's done. I think our bread is baked, so let me get on these ridiculously large hot, hot pads so we don't burn ourselves. Safety first, right? Safety first. Okay, let's get the bread. Are you excited, Ollie? Huh, you excited? Uh-huh. 
Yes. Oh, it smells good. Do you smell it? Yep. Okay, so it said one hour or when the bread pulls away from the edges. I think it's pulled away from the edges. What do you think? Look at that. I think it just comes out like that. Ooh. Check it out. <laughs> Look at that. We made bread. We made bread. Okay, now our bread has about two tablespoons extra of olive oil because we put in the wrong amount of olive oil because Oliver wasn't reading the directions carefully. Hey. What? You told me to do the flatbread. <laughs> we were following the flatbed directions. Flatbread directions. We were following those when we, should, <laughs> when we should have been following the directions for the loaf because on the box, it tells you three different ways that you can make this bread. So we wanted loaf. Okay, so it's supposed to cool, but I have no, no patience. Should we try a little bit? Although last time I did that, then it didn't come out good with the cookies. Made bread before? No, cookies the other day. Here's a knife and a little bit of butter. So it's supposed to cool, but I have no patience. I want to try a little piece. So much here. Yeah, it's probably Instacart. Why is it Instacart? Oh, because we ordered some Instacart stuff. Instacart. Okay, so let's see what it's like, even though we put in too much olive oil. Let's see, it's really hot. Mmm. Here. I don't taste anything. <laughs> what do you mean you don't taste anything? Hey, hey, and look at here, look at here. I taste stuff in this lollipop. The, the lollipop is interfering with the bread. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I taste it. I like it. I think this is a really nice gluten-free bread, you know alternative to other bread. And I'd say it's pretty easy to follow too. Even if, you know, you messed up earlier. I, I didn't mess up. <laughs> AKA messed up. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. We can put jam on it. We can put butter on it. <laughs> okay, we messed up. I mean, we were both reading the same box. I felt, I feel like. You said it was flat. Bread. Well, we were making a loaf, but we were you looking said at that. It was flat bread. I just feel like you should be t double checking my work. That's why there was two of us in the kitchen, two set of eyes. <laughs> well, I think this was a success. I'm very happy with this. What about you? It's super. It's super good. <laughs> In quotes. <laughs> I liked it, even though it sounds like you couldn't taste it. Exactly. <laughs> I would make this bread again. I would have this bread again. I feel like next time we should try the flatbread. Let's make muffin. Muffin? Yeah. I'm stuffing muff. I'm I'm stuffing the muffin into your mouth. <laughs> We will try something else again. We got a few things we got to learn how to make before Thanksgiving. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's right. Thank you for being here as I figure out my life after a cult. Peace. <laughs>